four years ago. Hello. Hey, Lake, how are you? Dr. Jacob Newfeld moved to Boise. I came here to start a program to help take care of kids with disabilities. Every day, Dr. J, as he's known around St. Luke's Hospital, okay. works with children with spinal cord injuries or muscular dystrophy or spina bifida or kids like Lake, All right. born with cerebral palsy and battling congenital heart Let's disease. See where we are. Dr. J will tell you his job is fulfilling. You know what you're running at. But it can also be unforgiving. Probably one of the hardest things I have to do is uh, tell a parent what their kid can't do. And while mismatching his socks and shoelaces. It gives him a little smile, you know. Gives him a little levity at the hospital. So um, It's what he does on his downtime where Dr. J can really convey his creativity. For the last couple of years, Dr. J has been putting color on canvas without any idea of what it's going to look like. No, oh, I mean, I know I'm gonna make something different. How he does it. It's called a Redmond clamp. They use it for neurosurgery, so. Will also be different. It makes different. Because Dr. J doesn't do his painting. Designs with brushes that I can use. The New Jersey native uses old and donated surgical tools that he finds in the basement of St. Luke's, giving new meaning to the term coming out of a syringe, medical arts. You know, anyone, everyone paints with a paintbrush. This is something different. This is a new, this is a new uh, genre of art. Dr. J never thought of himself as artistic. No. Mm -mm. And other than a room in his house, he never considered painting. I'll do it this way until he saw an artist at the Boise Creative Center two years ago squirting paint out of water guns. A natural transition Oops. to this. It's totally unrelated to what I do, to anything I've ever done. It's here. Ah, this is my favorite tool. In front of a canvas. The Dr. J can put those bad days behind him. I lose myself in what I'm doing. But he does, sometimes, find a different perspective. So leave the brush strokes to the other painters. Dr. J will keep using his clamps and catheter tubes. This is a throat culture swab. And his swabs and sponges wow. and syringes splattering and scraping in a medium of mess with a little less than surgical precision. So I just, you know, take the things and I see what it'll do. Brian Holmes. I say I paint. Do you call this art? That's up to you. Idaho's News Channel 7.